Let's talk about one of the most common clock domain crossing problems, implementation problems, I should say, that's seen in the industry, especially by newbies and sometimes even by experienced folks. So let's look at this circuit, right? You have two clock domains, clock domain A and clock domain B. And you have this control signal that needs to be sent from clock domain A across over to clock domain B. Remember this control signal is generated and is an output of this combinatorial um, logic, um, combinatorial cloud of logic, right? So it seems everything is as it's supposed to, right? Well, we'll see. So the problem statement here is, what is the potential problem with the CDC implementation? We have a one bit control signal. We have a double flop synchronizer as we have been taught to implement a double flop synchronizer for a one bit control signal when you pass a signal from one clock domain to the other clock domain. So then what exactly is the problem here? I wonder. So you can, at this time, you can probably pause the video and maybe give it a thought and try to figure out what could be the potential implementation problem with this kind of um, with this kind of circuit diagram or this kind of implementation let's look at the waveforms so if you notice i had mentioned that the control signal is the output of the combinatorial cloud of logic well what that means is based on what this combinatorial cloud of logic consists of this control signal may or may not glitch if you're using things like comparators muxes where the select signal or one of the other signals arrives late compared to the select you can see these kind of artifacts and what happens if the control signal glitches low exactly at the point of sampling? Well, the clock domain B is going to end up sampling it as a low or a zero for one clock cycle, thereby not transmitting this control signal from clock domain A to clock domain B in a reliable fashion. And bear in mind when this glitch happens, it satisfies both the setup and the whole time for clock domain B, meaning that the glitch is wide enough that it satisfies the setup time and the whole time around this clock edge for clock underscore B of the clock domain B, right? So therefore, it will get sampled as zero and you will see a zero for one clock cycle over on the side of clock domain B. So how would you fix this? Well, the fix is really simple. You have to register the control signal before you send it across and over to clock domain B. So the implementation or the fix is really simple. So what do we learn from this problem? And I want you guys to really pay attention to this small but rampant problem in the industry. The moral of the story here is it's an absolute must that signals going between two clock domains are registered. This is the most important flop in this entire circuit. If you don't have this flop that registers the control signal before it's sent across to clock domain B, you're going to have real problems. So I hope you, were, you won't um, commit this problem and will refrain from making this implementation mistake yourself. Welcome to the Digital VLSI Interview Prep channel. Here you'll find the most frequently asked questions. So if you like the content, share it with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want access to more of these kind of questions, then use the link in the description and head over to my Udemy course below. Thank you.